It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I need to paint the walls. It's a new place. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to ARL ASIN Review Live, where I review ASINs live. I told you guys last week, this is my new setup. I moved down to the garage. This is not pretty. I got some new stuff coming. I know the, the light's a little bit wacky. I'm trying to figure out what's the best... I don't know. We're going to figure it out together. But anyway, welcome back. If you've been here before, if you haven't, my name is John Aspinall. I'm a senior account executive here at My Amazon Guy. And I do ASIN reviews live every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern time, where I'm going to take your ASIN and I'm going to review it. But today we're going to do something a little special here. We're going to be talking about something cool that I shared with the team, talking a little bit of AI, talking a little bit of Mid journey, a little chat GPT action. What do you do when you don't have a lifestyle image for your product? Um, psh, yeah, well, let's let's talk about it. So we got some hey highs and hellos. Uh, Kim, morning, John. You are hilarious. The wife kick you out to the garage? Uh, I voluntarily went to the garage because let me tell you, I'm gonna get a better. I got some shelves coming later today. I got a new camera coming later today. I'm going to have my, my, my Amazon guy sign. I got all my little doodads over here. It's going to look a lot nicer. Trust me right now. I got a haircut today. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's going to look a lot better, Jim. Uh, so let's take a look at you. You got your ace in here. Well, before we get into your ace and I'll get to your ace and I'll get to your ace and uh, we're talking about some AI. So today's topic is going to be, I'm going to show you guys how you can take something like chat GPT and something called mid journey which is like chat GPT, but for photos and leverage it for better merchandising on your Amazon account. Does that sound cool? If that sounds good, give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't sound good, give me a thumbs down. Anyway, so Jim, you got uh, an ace in here. Let's jump right into it and take a peek ski. I'm going to present my screen, share my little screen, my entire window. Bingo, bango, bongo. Here we go. All right, cool. And we got the ace in here. Okay, anyone else ready for Prime Day? I'm not. I uh, <laughs> I am for our customers and our clients, but for me, I don't know. I feel like anything I want to buy on Prime Day, it's uh, always going to be heavily discounted Amazon stuff. So I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. So we got the Cracker King Artisan Crackers. You won't believe it's gluten-free. You won't. Okay, here. So looking like the Cracker King, I like that. I love crackers. Can't eat a lot of them. Diabetic. <laughs> Cracker cake. So you got this standard three pack from Amazon thing, which is kind of eh. Uh, Cracker King, artisan crackers, sea salt, three crunchy and delicious four ounce bags of gluten free and artisan crackers, resealable for freshness. Okay, cool. So we have someone eating the crackers here. We have that. Okay, I got a little lifestyle image. Okay, great. So you're an award winner. I hope there's going to be a brand story module. Small business, black owned business. Fantastic. So beautiful. Loving a brand story module. Uh, you want to tell your brand story, though. That's the point of a brand story module. You want to show the brand story. So it's, it looks like you are the Cracker King. And uh, we, want to, we want to know a little bit more as to why you are the proclaimed Cracker King. Uh, okay, you won't believe it's gluten free. So here we're talking a lot about branding down here, um, which is, these are great photos, but we wanna know more about the product down here. So a lot of this good stuff is for your brand story module. Down here in the A plus content, that's really gonna be for the product itself. So you're giving me the cheddar and pepper, you're giving me the rosemary and sea salt. You're having a more generic A plus content, but we're talking specifically the sea salt, right? So peace, love, and crackers. I love that. Um, so I want to know more about that. So uh, taking a look at your main hero image, uh, spaced out like this, it's not merchandising the best way that it could be. How could it be done a little bit better? Let me show you. Let me pull up a Canva, and we'll take a look at how you'd better wanna. You'd better. You'd better wanna. How you'd wanna better merchandise your uh, image your main hero image for a better CTR. So let's take a look here. We got the product here. What I like to do is, stay with me, do something that's a little bit more fanned out, right? So if I take this 
and I just take it like that. Okay. And let's do this. And let's do this. Okay. I copy paste. Copy this one like that. Copy paste. Take this one. That's a technical term, guys. And then bring this one to the front. Oh, come on, bring it all the way to the front. Something like this is going to give you the better merchandising of a three pack. And I'll show you how to do one even better. So, again, I'm not really working with the best kind of photo choppy over here, but that's, that's a good way to show a three pack versus doing something like this. Um, because it just looks more merchandise. Why is my Discord going off like crazy? So then now that we have that here, and again, sizing is a little bit wonky because I didn't resize it, right? So then you go back here and you want to show the actual chips themselves. They look great. I'm going to shut this mid journey off. I have it open because I want to show you guys something, but okay, do this. Let's shut off Discord because it's going nutty. Okay. Do something like this. Bring this up a little bit more. And you, you know, right now it's ending abruptly, but you'd want to have it a lot um, clearer of this photo so you can showcase exactly, you know, all that great sea salt. You want to cover up the packaging, but you get the idea of what you want to do here. And then what you'd want to put is something like a little stamperoni on here. And you want to put it here so this way no one could say, hey, Amazon doesn't allow that, this, that, and a third, because who knows if it's on the packaging itself. So we want to make it a little bit darker. And you want to go down here, and you want to put a three-pack. And again, you're going to want to fine-tune this a little bit more. I'm doing this quickly for speed. I'm built for speed. Uh, I yell random things. So let's take a look here. Something like that. Something like that, right? That's that's how that's how I would better merchandise this. Obviously, some better stuff down here. Three pack, and again, that that's doing the 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 quick and dirty kind of stuff. But overall, it looks like you have a cool product. You need to just put the the products in better places, meaning the brand story stuff from down here up here. And then have uh, any crawlable tech. You have no crawlable text in your A plus content. So indexing wise, let's take a look at that real quick. Indexing wise, you're going to have some issues. Oh, and by the way, school's out for summer. Uh, in case anyone knows that doesn't realize that. And if you hear children screaming, that's because school's out for summer. Yep. Yep, Aroni. So we have about 114 sponsored keywords, 87 organic. So if I go down here, things like snacks, gluten free, uh, gluten free snacks, rich crackers, uh, you're not indexing for it all. So you want to have crawlable text down there uh, in order to assist you with that. So I hope that helps. Easy Stud Rack says, you need some easy stud racks for your shelving. Oh, we do. Uh, well, we're not sponsored, but if you feel like sponsoring ARL, by all means, send me some of those stud racks over here. Um, I think I purchased something off of Amazon where it's uh, tubular kind of PVC connectors. Um, I don't know, guys, I have all my fun stuff that I normally keep on my shelf. It's all in a box right now. So I'm used to having all my great stuff displayed in the background, and it's not, and that makes me sad. But anyway, so we're talking about AI, right? So let's talk about that. Let me showcase what I got going on over here, and we'll talk about it. So there's a tool out there called MidJourney. So MidJourney's homepage, it doesn't really look like much. So this is MidJourney. And what MidJourney is, it's like ChatGPT, but it's going to be for images. So I know that that doesn't say much. It doesn't really get, do much. You have to access it through something called Discord. Um, there's a lot of things, like I'm in some sneaker stuff and some other stuff like that. But you have to access it through Discord. Um, that being said, you make a message directly with MidJourney through its chat. Just, just go with me on this. 
So you could see here that I've done some examples in the past where I said, hey, give me a hyper-realistic photo of a woman doing yoga in the park. And it gives me photos of someone doing yoga in the park. Some of them look very AI. Some of them look extremely natural. Um, so for example, something like this, this looks like a real photo. Why am I telling you guys this? Well, let's go back to Amazon and let's pretend that we are a brand that does not have lifestyle images. Why are lifestyle images important? Glad you asked, because when people shop, they want to feel that customer avatar. They want to feel that warm, fuzzy feeling that, hey, this product affects me. I see someone using it. This is great, blah, blah, blah. So I take supplements. You guys know I'm always a fan of referencing supplements. So if I go down to women's uh, multivitamin, right, there's going to be a lot of big box store brands out there that don't care about their merchandising. Why? Because they're big box brands. Everyone knows them and loves them. They're just going to get shopped anyway. So I'm going to use them as examples. But imagine if this was you. If you were a brand that was starting out with supplements, skincare, health, wellness, pretty much anything, right? Um, you're able to now showcase who your customer avatar is if you don't have the graphic design budget, if you're not able to do photography of the specific customer and that kind of stuff. So let's 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 dive into that. So let's take a look, for example, Smarty Pants. So Smarty Pants is a big brand, right? So they're doing about 20,000 readings. They're doing about 20,000 uh, sales or units per month on a 30-day basis. But you can see here, they're not leaning into who their customer avatar is, showing lifestyle, overall wellness of the person. That's okay. They're huge. They're doing great. Could they be doing better? Absolutely. Let's take a look at their A+. plus. Are they showing them in the A+. Plus? Eh, a little bit. It's targeted nutrition for women. Okay, so understand that. So we have women in a coffee shop laughing. You got a doctor over here. But let's say we're talking about, um, you know, we want to showcase someone living their left best, bleh, their left best, their left best life, their best life. So we're talking about ways, uh, the smarter way to healthier, the smarter way to healthier. Okay. So um, so this is specifically for women. So we're talking about CoQ10 for heart health and for bones. So think of like, I'm going to think of the older generation for heart health and bones. Because as you get older, I'll be 40 this year. I'm pretty old too. You have to take care of your heart and health. So let's go to mid-journey and we're going to give it a prompt. And it's very much like ChatGPT, except you're going to start with a mat slash imagine. That's how you get to put the prompt in for that, right? Um, so now we're gonna say hyper-realistic photo of a woman in her late 60s with gray hair exercising in the park with her, her friends. She is happy and smiling while she is at the park. The landscape is a bright, sunny day. And that's it. Let's see what it does. So now I gave it a very generalized prompt. So understanding that, we can start to go there a little bit deeper. So what it's going to do, this is not quick like ChatGPT. So you can see like it prompted, it, something came up and you're like, what is that, John? Uh, it's, you know, 15%. So it's going to start to generate more and more. It's going to start to render a little bit more and more. Um, and this is really cool because if you have a brand, like if you were Smarty Pants and you didn't have, you know, and you don't want to use stock photos of like eye stock photos or any of those typical stock photos, which everyone's going to be using and stuff like that. You can hone down specifically who your demographic is. So here I said a woman in her late 60s with gray hair exercising in the park with her friends. She is happy and smiling while she has at the park. The landscape is a bright, sunny day. So the reason I put hyper realistic is because you don't want to look AI generated. So you kind of want to fool people, but hey. Cool people, I don't know. Okay, so now it's done. So now you can see here, this stuff looks, these look gonna be, they're gonna look very AI generated. This one looks pretty good. 
So the way that they operate is U1234 is upscale one through four, um, and then V1 through four is ver um, version one through four. So it's different versions of it. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So out of these four, I like this one the best. This is a lady hanging out in the park, exercising, living her best life, bone support. Oh, great, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna upscale three because I like that one down there. Now, what you can do with these is that you can take this and let's say I wanna put and make this an infographic for Smarty Pants, right? And put this here as an infographic in the photo stack. So now I can take it and I can put infographics here, but maybe that's too cramped, right? Where I can't put the photos because it's, it's too tight. Hey, no problem. Mid Journey gives you the option to zoom out. So now I can zoom out and what it's gonna do is gonna take that exact same photo and it's gonna zoom it out. So it's gonna add graphics to the landscape and it's gonna make the woman smaller because it's zooming out, but it's gonna keep the overall aesthetic of the photo the same. And again, it's not very quick. It takes like a minute or two, but the results that it gives are really, really good. So while we're doing that, let's take a look here. So let's say I like this one, but I want a different version. So I'll do V3 and then I could change it a little bit. So I could say with black hair, exercising in the park with her husband, she is smiling and happy. The landscape is a bright sunny day by a river. So let's say I wanted to, she's got black hair now, set her with her friends, she's with her husband and they're down by the river. So now if you go down here, while that prompt, you could do multiple different prompts. By the way, Mid Journey is free to a certain point, but then you have to pay for it. Money well spent. That's all I'm gonna say. So this one generated. So now remember we liked that photo of the lady with her friends here, right? We only saw two friends, they were blurry and it was up close. So now we have multiple friends in the background. It's pulled out. So I can say, hey, I like this one with this lady in the background because there's more space here. I like that. So that's number two. So let's upscale two. So now I can take two and then I can go ahead and make that into an infographic. Now I'm not going to really dive into infographics. I stink at using keywords of infographics, whatever. So let me show you exactly what we do with this. So this one's still waiting to start when I did a different color for her hair. And then I said she's at her husband. So that's waiting to start still. Um, so let me pull this up here. Okay, great. So now this is ready. So I can take this, copy this right here. I could go down here and I can go ahead and zoom in like this. And now I'm able to make this into an infographic. So I can make different things here. I can put, you know, supports better overall heart health, bone support, all these kind of really cool things. Now, if you were to add something like this, to the product uh, page, the PDP in the photo stack, this is someone smiling, happy, living their best life with the product. This helps it, it, it kind of focus a lot better. Um, so now if I go back to mid journey and, or this, see, it's still waiting to start. So none of this stuff is fast. It's, it's, it's a process. But anyway, so that, that's mid journey. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more. Let's hop back to some comments, but that's mid journey. I want to show you guys also how you can use things like chat GPT to build out mid journey prompts. So you're actually able to get a better prompt to give mid journey by getting it from open AI through chat GPT. Hope that makes sense. BB groups, give me an ASIN for a review. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So it's B zero B. BFW, GPGW. Okay, and if it's um, international guys, as always, um, please let me know. Um, so B0B, VFW, GPGW. Uh, VFW GP. Yeah, it's not coming up for me. I don't know why. So let me know, uh, VB, if it's actually uh, in a different marketplace or not. Easy Star Direct says, I use Mag to do my listings at PPC. How can I hire you? through mag i'm assuming to update my images and content i realize it's better to have a professional do it i am flattered sir um yeah so we you can definitely go to my amazon ryan just pull up the um uh mag link you can go to myamazonguy.com uh, and go right to our website and i can showcase exactly where we can do that yeah myamazonguy.com go right to our website and if you're looking for us to do your um 
easy stuff to do your images and listing, you can go here to end-to-end uh, -end listing optimization. So if you have A plus content, which I'm assuming you probably do, you go right here, it's 2K for full listing optimization top to bottom. Oh, I think mid journey went off. Did it go off? Yeah, it did. Haha, -ha, sorry. So now it changed. She added her husband. I wanted to add two guys. I just had one husband. That's AI. So it gave her black hair ish and her husband and that and there's a river in the background so if you notice it went from the park to now they're by a river ah ai so cool um this is a great way to leverage it for your brand but anyway you can go here take care of it um happy to help if you want just images you go to just a standard listing optimization where you don't want us to affect your um your a plus content but yeah that that's probably uh the best thing for us to help you out Jim says, 40, no way, would have put you in your early to mid 30s. That's not that far off. That's kind of the same thing. Now, if you said, hey, John, you look like you're 21. But I appreciate it. Uh, VB says, yes, we are a multivitamin brand. Check this. Yeah, it's not coming up. Um, let me put it in again. Take a look. B0, B, V, F, W. Am I typing something wrong here? B, F, W. GPGW. No, it's not coming up. BB groups. Even if I put it into Google, it's not indexing right now either. Um, let me know the name. Maybe I can search it here as well. Jim says, BB groups just tried searching your ASIN. Popped and pop up. John may have the same problem. Just a heads up. Yeah, it's not coming up for me. Um, so I'm not too sure what's going on there for that. But let me know the name of the actual product, and I'll be happy to maybe search it that way. Uh, no search, fine, by, uh -huh. But I'm happy to do that as well. Um, but yeah, so that's mid-journey. Now, here's another cool thing. So now you can go to someone like ChatGPT. Here's a hack onto a hack. You can go to ChatGPT, and you can say, I did this earlier before. So now I said, you are a mid-journey prompt expert. I will give you a description. You will give me a detailed prompt to input into mid-journey for a hyper-realistic lifestyle photo. Do you understand? Yes, give me the description. Women in park doing yoga, okay? So now this is already primed up to give me that very hyper-specific um, prompt. You can see it's really robust. So now that it already knows that, so I'm gonna give it another one. So let's pull up another product. Let's go to Easy Stud Rack. Let's do that. Easy Stud Rack. Let's go down here. Ah, I remember we had the product. Your, your question was about how to better showcase the um, the product that you have. So let's say, do you have any lifestyle images? So you don't really have. You have lifestyle, but you don't have someone you know in it, right? Like you living their best life. Like aha, I'm organized. So let's let's take you guys for example, and let's do that. So who is your customer avatar? It's going to say, let's build out this prompt, and we'll showcase you. So we're going to say, man in his 40s in a garage space uh, working with tools and admiring his neatly organized garage. For the garage walls, we want it to be organized and neat. I know I said that kind of twice. Um, the man will appear to be an older dad type with a hammer in his hands and a tool belt. Um, let's see what it says. So now it's going to build it out and it's going to say the title, the craftsmanship sanctuary. So this is the, the prompt that chat GBC is building for me to go put into open, uh, mid journey. So capture an engaging portrait of a man uh, reflecting a fatherly persona busy at work in his immaculate garage. The subject should be wearing well-worn jeans, a comfortable yet sturdy flannel shirt, his hands, a hefty hammer. The garage is his fortress of solitude. Okay. Perhaps an old, like this is really detailed. So now we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to go back into mid journey. And we're going to go down here. We're going to hit imagine. And we're going to put the prompt. Now, I know that this prompt is going to come back a little weird because it didn't say hyper realistic. So it's probably going to come back like cartoony or painting or portrait like because it said that. 
but let's go with it and see what it is. Otherwise, I'm going to tune this a little bit to talk about um, hyper realistic. So now if I go here, easy stud rack, we don't have anyone so far. Do you have any A plus content down here? So you have this guy here. So that's you. Um, cool picture. Um, but showcase it a little bit more to that, hey, uh, I'm living my best life because this is organized. So let's go down here. So <laughs> you could see you got you to gotta prime AI for sure. Um, because what's it, what it's doing, it's, it's, you want to show someone being happy. Um, so something like this, it's not, uh, gotta be, it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of creativity because this one's showing a guy very, um, yeah, this is like, uh, Ron Swanson. So, okay. Something like this, or maybe, right. Cause it's, this is very painting wise. So let me try and build it out myself. I'm going to say, imagine a messy, a hyper realistic photo of a man standing in a messy, unorganized garage. Let's take the different approach, right? So we're not talking about organized, we're talking about unorganized. So showing the pain, how you don't want it to be and why they need your solution. Hyper realistic photo of a man standing in a messy, unorganized garage, frustrated. The man is in his 40s in jeans and standing around an unorganized garage. Let's see what that does, right? Uh, you have to put hyper, whenever you're doing these kind of hacks, you have to put, uh, especially for Amazon, you have to put hyper realistic. So there's going to be a lot of in depth hyper realism, photo realistic, because otherwise it's going to give you these like Norman Rockwell looking paintings photos. You don't want that because that's very clearly going to be AI. And the idea is you don't want people to, to know that you want it to look as natural as possible. So something like this is going to start. Um, so we said hyper realistic photo of a man sitting in a messy, unorganized garage, frustrated, yada, yada, yada. Let's see what it pops up. So yeah, if you guys have, if you're watching right now and you want to throw your ASIN in the chat, happy to do so. Toss it in there and we're able to pull up your ASIN, go over topic of today is how can we use AI to help better your listings and overall give you better conversion? So let's take a look here. And apparently someone's at my doorbell. Okay, cool. So something like this is a guy standing around in an unorganized garage. So you can say, okay, I like this and take something like the first one and you can use this as your version of an unorganized garage so something like this can be hey do you not want this to be you so definitely something to look into for sure for sure so we have some people throwing in their asins in here let's take a look okay so Slavia says, Slavika, sorry, says B04, B074, WG, YF21. So B04. Okay, so we're talking about this is a Markle Pro holder with one graphite lead built in sharpener. Okay. So uh, let's take a look and see what this is. Okay. So this is, what exactly is this? So this is a graphic lead. Uh, my son is banging on the door. Okay. Um, one click advanced metal barrel construction. Let's see. So this is for mark. Okay. So this is for marking uh, as you're doing construction stuff, right? So showcasing this by itself, I didn't know automatically that that's what this was. Um, so let's take a look here. Um, so what would someone use if they weren't using this traditionally, right? So I would imagine that someone would use uh, a pencil. Oh, so this is a graphite pencil. So it's a one graphite lead built-in sharpener. Okay, so how is this different than a pencil is what I would say. The graphite refill provides a heavy duty construction. Okay, for this. So you'd want to talk about, we're talking about a premium price point, right? So 2336. Why is this something that's better than a pencil? 
right? So this is more durable, a pencil you wouldn't have to sharpen, uh, pencil breaks, all that kind of stuff, right? So, oh, I, I understand. So this is a long piece of graphite that you're able to sharpen on the go and just keep it with you. So this is good. You'd want to showcase as to the us versus them. So why are you better than a traditional pencil? A pencil is about a, a 20 pack for $5. You're a premium price point, but it's okay if they're, if you're within, if there's a reason and a value to it, um, that's okay to do, but we have to talk about that. And right now it's not. So um, you're talking about how you can mark up all these different materials for hard to reach areas. Okay. So is this skinnier than a traditional pencil that it can fit into these kind of areas and mark? Um, talk more about that. Um, okay, so I see that there's other marks as well for this kind of stuff for oily surfaces. But yeah, if we're talking specifically about this, we wanna talk why a pencil and wh why you and why not a pencil. So I see that there's other options here. So there's other sort of, um, refills and stuff like that. So you'd want to go into your A plus content and showcase the difference between these. So uh, I think there was a chart down here. Yeah. So you show this, but you don't show us what the difference is. So is it just color? And if it's just color, why is yellow better than um, red or silver or anything like that? Um, so understanding that, that's what I would do. And then your main index image I would say for um, the retail packaging, what does it look like in retail packaging? So I'm assuming it looks like this, or this is the refill. What does it originally look like? Um, because you're able to showcase that and then put a little bit more to assist with the CTR in here. So if it's made in US, where is this made? Overseas, let's take a look here. I don't see where it's made. And that's going to be something people in the tool industry and okay so it's made in the us so this is good uh, but you don't tell me that so you want to show the retail packaging show that it's made in the us that's going to hammer home more as to why you're a big value prop um but yeah the biggest thing to take away is your index image you want to show the packaging show made in the us and in your secondary and tertiary images you want to show why you're better than a traditional pencil um that's that's definitely something that that I would do for sure. Tony, hey Tony. Tony says, can Midjourney superimpose your product on the lifestyle image it's generating? Uh, it's a good question, Tony. It cannot do that, but I can show you how we can do that through a little bit of creativity. So let's say, for example, um, you have some artisan soaps. Okay, let's say this is your soap. My child says no. Let's say this is your soap right here. Let's say you are the peach, not plastic, and you want to make a lifestyle photo. Maybe not like this, but just something to showcase where you kind of put it in the bathroom and that kind of stuff, right? So what you would do is go to Midjourney, and you would build out a prompt and say, imagine a hyper-realistic photo of a bathroom scene and focus on, whoops, and focus on the bathroom vanity. What's up, my keyboard today? Countertop. The bathroom will be very light and airy. Mm, add, add the sink in the background. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take what it spits out. So it's basically going to spit out a blank canvas of a landscape. And then you would take your product and superimpose it or kind of just put it in there um, and show you how to best operate it. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to use, got to use a couple different things. So I'm using Canva and I'm using Midjourney. So I'm going to go to Canva and Canva has automatically their Amazon product image. Just click on that. It's going to open up a new image here. Go back to Midjourney, and now you're going to see it's going to give me a hyper-realistic photo of a bathroom scene, everything that I spoke about. So now I want to zoom in or I want to zoom out. Sometimes you want to want to do either or. 
I'm going to show you how either way you're going to able to take what you're getting and make it work for you. So let's say your aesthetic is light and airy, or maybe it's more sandalwood and darker kind of things, or maybe it's fruity and that kind of stuff. You can give it those prompts so you're able to get exactly what you need. So now let's see this one right here. So this one, see, this one down here, which is so one, two, three, four, two already has a, three already has a soap. I like um, three and four the best. I don't like the one with the candle on that. So I'm gonna take four and I'm gonna upscale four. So I'm gonna upscale four and it's gonna go ahead, it's gonna render four to be a larger version of it, right? So now I like four. So I'm gonna take four, I'm gonna go to Canva, I'm gonna paste four, right? So now if I didn't have a lifestyle image before for my product, now I've gotten something and you could say, okay, John, well, you know, I can go very easily get a photo like this off of Google or something like that. Here's the thing. You're not able to use that because you don't know whose photo it is. It might not fit your aesthetic. It might be nighttime, not daytime. It might have other products in it. This is a great way for you to kind of tailor make something to you. Now you're going to see here, mid journey is not good with words. So you're going to see in the background here, these labels are kind of like gibberish. So just be cognizant of that as well, because mid journey can't take it and say, you know, make me a bottle that says, you know, world's best soap on it. It doesn't understand contextually to putting words on things. So, okay. So now we've taken this and we've put it down to this. So now if I have, this is my photo, right? I can copy it here, go here, paste it, and then we're done, right? No, this looks terrible. What are you talking about? Edit the photo. I'm gonna remove the background for something like this. It's gonna take the background out. I'm able to then take the product, put it down here, and you're gonna say, John, this looks very Photoshoppy. This does not look good. You have to play with it. We're doing it very quick and dirty here, right? But you're going to want to play with it and you're going to want to do things like shadows and so on and so forth where you're able to really kind of make it work for what you need um so you can see down here this little bit it didn't get so if i go to edit photo and the background remover i'm able to tweak it a little bit more so i can jump in here very very tight make this smaller and go like this by the way are you guys liking this are you guys like we do asin reviews but i'm also showing you how to replicate some success that other people have had so if this is not of interest to you guys let me know and i'll stop doing that but i'm waiting for more people to put asins in the chat here so until that happens we're going to be playing with some some ai and some photos okay so now i went ahead and removed that little white part there and so now you can see it's a little bit better. But now, see, here we go. So now I can take this and the aspect ratio, build it out like that. And then I can even go here and I can say, Christopher says, yeah, keep going. Lee says, like this, thanks. All right, guys, listen, I'll keep going as long as everyone comments. You know, I understand people like ASMR and watching people work and work with me and stuff like that. So I'm um, happy to do that. So. Um, shadowing here, um, you don't want to do an outline shadow. You want to do, you don't want to do glow. It's going to be a drop shadow. Um, and you're going to be able to do some blurring here. Um, oh, I, uh, I don't do that. My wife just ordered me some slippers. Thank you. Appreciate it. Slippers on demand. That's what you get here. Oh, these are comfy. We're going to put a good review on these. We'll pull these up for an ASIN review next. Oh, they don't, they don't fit. Stop it. Are you serious? They're small. No, they fit you. Because then, you, then they'll be too big in the back. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll pull up these as a, as, a, as a review next. Oh, they're comfy. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's something that I would do. And, again, if you have lifestyle photos and you don't need to do this, do that instead. Don't do the AI. Uh, but if you don't have it, um, AI is definitely going to be the best. That was impromptu delivery of some sandals or some slippers. Blaine, hey Blaine. Blaine says, yeah, this is awesome. A mix of both of those uh, who want ALRs and who want to learn. ARLs, Blaine, ARLs. Uh, Slavika says, great stuff. Can you just explain in more detail how to access Mid Journey? I missed it. Um, 
uh, Sarfraz says, can I ask which keyboard are you using? It is really great to annoy to someone. Oh, I, I, that's my mechanical keyboard. So uh, I'll, I'll put that link in the comments after. It was cheap on Amazon, but I like the clicky clickiness of it. So Slavika says, great stuff. Can you just explain a little more detail on how to access Midjourney? Sure. So Midjourney, you're going to go to midjourney.com. And you're going to sign in, get started, right? So quick start guide, you go here using Discord. It's going to tell you on midjourney.com very clearly how to get started. Um, and you go here, you're going to log into your Discord. So you have to set up Discord. Discord is this little kind of mask thing down here. This is an app by itself. Um, so Discord, download Discord. You can use it for a whole bunch of different things. Um, and then you're going to subscribe to Midjourney Plan. It's $8 a month or 24. Well, oh, there's a monthly one too. Um, but uh, and then you're going to follow the instructions on here. So there's a quick start quick start guide, Slobika, where you're able to kind of showcase that uh, a little bit more clearly than I could. And then what you're going to do is once you're inside Midjourney, um, you're going to get, uh, this is the mid journey channel and there's going to be all this kind of cool stuff in here. Um, but then you're able to do a, the mid journey bot where you talk directly to it. And then this is where you're going to be able to generate those images. So, um, it's just a, just a really cool tool for you guys to be able to have for, um, you know, supplementing your, your listings, because I'd be honest with you, if you didn't have a lifestyle image like this, this, once you play with it a little bit more and get to understand, you know, lighting and stuff like that, and it's going to look a lot better and it's going to help you with overall conversions. And it looks very rough right now, but, you know, for time's sake, I just kind of show you the, um, the high level of it. Oh, so because says, thank you. You're welcome. Adam says, would appreciate if you take a look at this ASIN. We are struggling to compete with velocity that the cheaper products in this category have. Cool. Well, not cool, but cool that you gave me your ASIN. So let's take a look at them. So Adam says, B0, B, D, C, 3, P, 5, 1, W. So we are, ah, tempered glass screen protector. I come from the, the, the age and the experience of being in the industry for cell phone accessories and stuff like that. So I understand very clearly, um, you know, the, the, the struggle that you're going to have to have with this kind of stuff. So you guys are Fortress, uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max screen protector with $200 device coverage, easy installation tool, anti-scratch, drop protection, lifetime replacements, HD clarity, great. Um, before I click anything, what you're going to want to showcase is why you're better at $10 than the guy that's $2 and why you're still a value compared to the guys out there that are $50. Because you're, you're, you're in, a, in a middle ground, right, where you're not the cheapest, but you're not the most expensive. Some people think that's great. In this scheme of things, this grand scheme of things, there's going to be people that want to spend more for their devices, and there's going to want people that are going to want to spend less. So you're in that middle ground. So your parentage here is, okay, with the coverage and the install tool, with the coverage. So this is not clear with what you're talking about here. So I get what you're doing. So this is with the coverage and the tool is $10. With the coverage by itself is $7. Just the glass is $6. And then with the instant, so you're giving people too many options. And I get why you're doing that because you want to cover a couple of different price points, but you're giving people too many options. So let's go on the one with the coverage and the install tool. I'm assuming this is the install tool and you lay it down inside the frame. So it's compatible with this. I like how you guys are doing that. What's in the box? Great. Uh, okay, so here's the tool. Just be careful with this kind of font and this layout. Um, you don't want to look like Alibaba-esque, which is, if you've been watching, that's kind of what I call a lot of this stuff. Um, our device protection promise, oath. One-year coverage with wet registration. Okay. So warranty for the life of your device. So basically, it's a numbers game. Um, so you're talking basically the more people, it, you're banking on if people are actually going to cash in on their warranty. 
right? Uh, easiest install on the market, the tool, the glass, precision install. So what you're not talking about is the competitors, right? So the cheap ones that are really cheap, they don't come with a tool. So the tool is only a value when you tell me exactly what the competitors are doing. So competitors are not coming with the tool. And what happens if you don't have the tool, it gets misaligned. If it gets misaligned, you can't use it again. You have to tear it up and it's waste. Um, if you don't have the tool, you're getting air bubbles in it. And who wants an iPhone 14 Pro Max with a big air bubble in the middle of the screen protector? That ruins the experience of it, right? So you need to talk about the difference between the two. So coming down here, so you're going to have, let's see, you have the from the brand, brand store and module. You're not talking about your brand clearly enough. If you're doing the guarantees, if you're doing, um, and also where are you guys located? That's the other thing too. So you're located in Indiana. So you want to talk about that, that you're a US based business, right? So American owned and operated. If it's, it's clearly not going to be made in the US because something like this is always going to be imported, but you want to hammer home that you're uh, US based and US owned and operated because that's going to give validity to your brand and overall like authenticity where people are going to be like, okay, this is a US brand. This is not just a China direct uh, kind of cons um, seller. So talking about your overall warranty guarantee in your brand story module that your US owned and operated, these are things that you want to talk about. Um, in, right into your A plus content, I don't see your brand. So this is your brand story, but you still want to put your brand over here. So scratch protection, no one's going to put keys against their phone. So uh, talk about realistic instances why this is important. So if you're talking about keys, talk about when you put your phone in your pocket with your keys, it often gets scratched. Show me what keys against a phone looks like with no screen protector, and then show me exactly what it looks like with yours. So just showing me this doesn't, doesn't tell me much. Also be cognizant too of uh, if this is the latest iPhone or not, because we're talking about iPhone 14 uh, and you're showing not an iPhone 14. I know that's a little nitpicky, but we want to be able to very clearly talk about it. Um, so impact protection. So you're not showing me with Scooch's screen protector. What's Scooch? Uh, something happened here uh, because you're with Scooch's screen protection. Um, what's Scooch? Is the, the deck get pulled from a different brand? Was there a rebrand name change? Something like that. Um, you'd want to fix that for sure. But you want to show real life situations where someone drops it on the concrete, someone drops it uh, getting out of the car. What are the most common? Here, let's ask ChatGPT if we don't know. So let's go here. What are the top 10 most common reasons that someone's iPhone screen gets damaged? So accidental drops, pressure, impact from objects, mishandling during transportation, water damage, we're not talking about that, children or pets mishandling device, uh, defects, so here, this AI just gave you really good information on how to make your listing better. So uh, talking about mishandling. So if you're in a bag or pocket, um, talking about keys or coins, talking about children or pets, showcase that. I know for me, on my phone, um, knock on wood, any wood around here? Um, hasn't been broken yet, but my kids are always on my phone and drop it and throw it and stuff like that. So that's one of the biggest things for um, that would be kids dropping it for me. So, uh, yeah, overall, that's what I would say. And also, you don't have any crawlable text in your A-plus content. So um, I know your question was, how do you stand out from the competitors for the space? But talking very clearly from everything that I mentioned was going to help you for sure. So I hope that helps. So Mika says, thank you. You're welcome. Cody says, wow, thank you for sharing about MidJourney. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm very big into not gatekeeping. So any AI things that help your life get easier for productivity or help you better your listings or better your merchandising, I'm happy to help and not gatekeep. Amir says, Ace in this. Hi, I stopped selling the product, uh, but I'd be very happy if you tell me the missing things that catch your eye. This was my first private label product trial. My price was $9.99. So let's take a look. 
zero B V L uh, Q L C N N. Not coming up. So if it is international, guys, please let me know. I don't know what's going on with ASINs today. That's not coming up. So B zero B V L two V L two V L two L C N N. Yeah, it's not coming up. So Amir, it's not coming up. Let me know what's going on. I want to help. Adam Anderson says, thanks. You're welcome, Adam. Brian B. from California. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. And if anyone else has children that are now out of school for the summer, my thoughts and prayers are with you. And I hope yours are with mine because I don't know how I'm going to get through it. But yeah, so let, let, let's pull up another product. I know that we're a little bit light on ASINs we're getting uh, sent over. And again, if you're sending over your ASIN, let me know if it's in a different marketplace, so if it's in the UK or Europe or anything like that. Uh, definitely let me know. Um, but let's pull something here. Yeah, go get kids a gym membership. Yeah. Uh, it says maybe it can help. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I need to know exactly where the listing is. I can't, I can't find your listing. But yeah, Brian, get them a gym membership. I want to put them into summer camp and get them out. And they are refusing to go. They are protesting. It's like a stick up. Um, let's go here. So let's take a look at another product. Which product can we make better? Let's talk about sleepovers because apparently I bought this for my kids. Because you can see here that my cart is uh, okay. So we have nothing here. Uh, so sleepovers. So there's no lifestyle images. This is for by cuties for bedwetting and potty training and all this other kind of stuff. So we have this here. Okay, cool. So eh, maybe this is not the best one because that's about pee in the bed and no one wants to deal with that. Let's see what else I've purchased or how we can make that kind of stuff better. Okay, so here we go. Brian says that is the way. Bribe them with stuff. Listen, I bribe my kids with lots of stuff and uh, they uh, the U.S. does not negotiate with terrorists, and now I know why. Um, because when I give them the stuff, they uh, they still do it. Brian says, curious about which mag product to invest in. I want to understand backend data better. Sales have been stagnant for the last 90 days, 1% from last year. Uh, which mag product to invest in? I want to understand backend data better. So what do you mean? So uh, Brian, you talk about if you want to do like full service with us, if you're wanting to do a listing optimization, um, as far as, you know, the, the offerings that we have, um, we're able to help with lots of different things. So we have our full service management. We can start rock and rolling. I have listing optimizations. I got everything under the sun. So let me know exactly what you want and we can help with it. Adam says, here's one from our sister brand, if you don't mind. You know what, Adam? I mind. I mind very much. Just kidding. B0B, sister brand. Sister brand. B0B. B0B, 9-4. Q, P, P. Yeah. All right, so this is your sister brand. Oh, okay, Adam. So we were talking about cell phones just So, oh, okay. So that's your Scooch is your sister brand. Got it. So when the previous listing about Fortress said Scooch, you got to fix that because you pulled something from Scooch uh, over to. I remember this listing because I remember I said Scooch last time. Um, so make sure to update your listing because the other one said uh, not Fortress. It said Scooch. Um, so something like this. Okay. Um, Five and one. So when you say five and one, five what? So it's a it's a kickstand. What's the five and one? Two ways to mount mount uh, mountless with air vent or magnetically with magnet. Okay. So what's the five and one? Five and one functionality. So we're not listing the five and one. You have to list it very clearly. When you say things like five and one, you need to very clearly define and list this, 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 this. So, so far, let's count together. Five and one. It's a kickstand. It's a, it's a mount. What are the other three things? So 
So grip it, kick it, protect it. Yeah, we got to be clear with that because you say five and one. So we need to talk a little bit more about that. Just I wonder how this actually works for you with actually putting it in the vent uh, and not breaking um, the, the person's vent. But uh, it's interesting, though. Um, you want to talk about, too, um, my wife got me slippers with a heel on them. Look at this. There is a heel on there. What? This slipper has a... Man. We should review those products. Why, do I, why am I wearing heels? Um, remember, this is a case, right? So this is a $39 case. This is expensive. I'm just gonna say that. So in a, in a in a land of otter boxes, casemates, spigens, and if you're not into cell phone accessories, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, this is pricey. Um, so you need to provide extreme value in your merchandising as to why. Um, compatible, mostly compatible with MagSafe. Yeah, if it's not fully compatible with MagSafe, don't say mostly because then people are gonna use it and then have problems. Um, so when you talk about never drop your phone again, talk about the difference. What's what's how is this better than a pop socket? How is this better than uh, anything else that has a built-in kickstand out there? So you need to the, the way you're going to better merchandise is you're moving decent units 462. So you have some social proof there, um, but you want to you're not talking about who the competitors are and how you're better than them. So why is this better than a pop socket? The pop, I know pop sockets, they fall over sometimes. They'll roll over, things like that, because it's round. Um, so talk about that. Um, there's no pain here. There's no pain talking about my phone fell, it's broken, this, that, and a third. I swear I thought that was Mark Summers from Double Dare. For, for a solid second, I thought that was Mark Summers. But, uh, but yeah, that, that's what I would say. We're not buying any more shout. Um, you have to talk about the pain between uh, what's going to happen with someone. So you talk about raised camera bezel. Why is that important? I know why that's important, because you don't want your brand new phone camera with 48 megapixels to get scuffed up. Talk about that. Uh, impact corners. Why is that important? Why is the raised screen lip important? I know why it's important, because I know cell phone accessories. Raised screen lip is important, because when you put your phone face down, on a table, your screen is not touching the table because it has a raised lip. Um, so you need to explain that. So just saying raised screen lip doesn't tell me anything. You talk about, do you put your phone down on the counter? Do you put your phone on the counter? Uh, then if that's the case, you need to use this because this is gonna help you not have problems. So that's what you have to do. Brian says, yeah, like a one-time analysis to see what I can start working on. Yeah, Brian, you can go ahead and book a coaching call. Uh, you can grab with Jason. Jason's, Jason's a VP now. His price went up. He's a valuable commodity around here. Um, but you could do it with Jason, uh, Tessa, any other account directors, uh, anything like that. Uh, you could book some time with me. Feel free. I'm, I'm, listen, if it's if it's involving some selling some stuff, I'm happy to help. So feel free to email me, john.aspinall at myamazonguy.com. My email is going to appear right here. Whoosh. Come on, Ryan. I'm just trying to time that right. Whoosh. There we go. We got my email rocking and rolling now. It's, it's, like a, it's like a ticker. It's like this is you back in fifth grade staying up to see if school's going to be closed and waiting to see your school kind of rolling by. Is that my school? Is that my school? John.aspital at myamazonguy.com. Email me. Happy to book some time. Book some time. We'll talk about it. We'll get rocking and rolling. See what we can do to help you out. Oh, show up. Maybe end-to-end -end listing, I guess. Yeah, we can talk about it. Uh, I don't know, but China competition is eating my lunch. Brian, what was your product again? Let me see the ASIN on your product because, you know, China China, uh, China Direct is a big thing. Oh, by the way, if you're looking to diversify your portfolio, um, look into Walmart. Uh, I always tell people that it's never going to be apples to apples, uh, dollar, dollar to dollar sales. Um, but Walmart's getting very strict on preventing ASINs from preventing China direct companies from going to Walmart, if that makes sense. Um, so if you're having a lot of that pains, um, look into Walmart too. Phys Christopher says physical challenge. That's right. Double Dare 
physical challenge. That was Mark Summers. That was Mark Summers. Brian says, Jason is Steven pricing. It's, we're in a recession. Prices go up. Milk is $7 a gallon. Eggs are, I don't even know how much. Eggs are a lot. Especially here in New York City, eggs are a lot. Lee says, wrong direction, though. Oh, so does it go the other way? No, does it go this way? Or does it go this way? I thought it went this way. Oh, maybe that's the wrong direction. Lee, I don't know. I don't know. Let's have fun. Let's put, we're going we're gonna to change it to say, like, um, the, the secret word of the day on the bottom. So now you guys are going to know. Hasnain says, I butchered that name, says, thanks for this live stream, man. You're welcome. Ryan, you can kill the scrolling because, you know, I think people have gotten my email by now. Appreciate it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick another product, guys. Uh, put in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a heart. Give me a comment. Give me give me some interaction that I know that you guys are out there believing in me. Um, but pick, let's pick a category. Throw a category down in the in the chat, and we'll kind of pull up exactly an, an example, and we'll see in that category if someone's listing has no lifestyle images, and we'll build out uh, some images for that using the AI. All right, we got some ASINs here. So while we're waiting on that, let's take a look at some ASINs. So B09, B16, 44KV. Oh, yeah, I remember your stuff. So made in the USA. You have the made in the USA on there. That's great. Um, we're not, we are we talking about, see, that's one thing, made in, US, made in USA quality. So is it made in the USA? So don't say made in the USA quality. Uh, so get rid of these brackets. You need to beef up your bullet points. I don't know if we talked about this last time, Brian, but your bullet points as far as indexing um they're very very light um so do that um the other thing is talk about why made in the usa is important um we talk about that as well always use red white and blue for made in the usa um expressive print unique designs that's great ditch your show okay so showcase yeah showcase what the competition looks like versus yours show the thin crappy stuff from china versus the thick quality stuff for making the us that's going to help you command a higher price point the other thing is you want to show the pain of having the crappy dealer frame because no one likes that no one likes having a dealer frame on there where it's like billy bob's automotive and you just bought it it's like man i just bought this forty thousand dollar car i don't want to advertise for you right these dealerships always do that but you need to show how ditch that do this so you're saying it but you're not showing it The other thing is doesn't cover registration tags. That's only going to be a benefit for certain states. Like in New York, we don't have that. So that's not a that's not a selling point for me. So in California, you have that. Uh, in New York, we don't have the registration tags on the license plate. So understand that that's only a value for certain people. Okay, so we don't talk about made in the USA. I need some more big made in the USA stuff here. I need some more of that here. And we need to talk very clearly about your dealer frame, how that's crap, and we want to have something better. And you, China's eating your lunch. Um, it doesn't sound like it from the listing because if it, if China was eating my lunch, I talk about how China has the thinnest plastic ever. I just grabbed that thing in me. The thinnest plastic ever versus our spiffy products. They're thick. Look how much more of a millimeter or centimeter, uh, you know, thicker ours is. It's rigid. It's rugged. All that kind of stuff. Does that, does that make sense? Does anyone else? Thumbs up. Thumbs up if that makes sense. Like, no. If you're on YouTube, throw a comment because thumbs up don't 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 register here. If you're on Facebook watching this or LinkedIn, you could do a thumbs up. I think it'll register. Slavika says, Asin, cool. B002. And the only reason I asked for a thumbs up and stuff like that, because I want to know if what I'm saying makes sense for you guys. Uh, because a lot of people don't like to engage, and that's cool. You want to sit back, relax, chill, popcorn, yum, 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 watch John get silly with himself. Uh, so LA Co. Water soluble, all weather, copper flux for soldering brush in cap. So right off the bat, made in the USA, stellar, loving this. Um, what you'd want to show, though, is you'd want to show, I don't know if you show a habit just yet, you'd want to show in your hero image, the cap open 
and sitting on top of the lid, right? Like unscrew it. I know what you mean by the brush and the cap. Like there's gonna be a brush right here with the showing the inside solution and showing the brush. That should be your hero image. But I love that you, so you have that here. So you don't have this. So you need a better version of this image, right? Uh, to be your hero image. So something like, yeah. Something like this needs to be your hero image because people need to see exactly that the brush is included in it and what the stuff looks like. So I think it's a big miss by having this and not this. I think it needs to be a little bit more, is this Vendor Central? It's a Vendor Central offering, yeah. So um, you're gonna want to do that. So if I take this, for example, and again, I don't have access to the full assets. So whatever kind of chop job I do is not gonna be the best. So don't judge me. Are you judging me? Don't judge me. So I would do something along the lines of this. Again, it's gonna be very, very rough. Judgment-free zone, no judging. Okay, I would do something like this. If this was my product, Again, I'd make the aspect ratio exactly what it is very clearly. Um, position backwards. Okay, this would be my main photo. So then let me do, um, duplicate this one. So then I wanna cut this like this. Ooh, I just did a little hack. Look at that. This is something that I would do uh, as your main image, because this is very clearly showing A, what the product is, B, the brush, and C, what's inside of it. By the way, I did a little trick there. I don't know if you guys saw that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little step back. So you can see here that I put it behind the first image here of the, the, the jar or canister. But what happens was I wanted this part to appear behind, but I wanted the brush part to be in the front. So what I did was I duplicated it and then I masked off the back of it and not the front of it. Because now you see this, see there's a mask here. So now the part over there, ah, little Canva hacks. But yeah, Slavika, this is something that I would do for sure. That would be my little go-to trick for you. That helps. Lee says, heart, heart, heart back at you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Weasel, wheezing the juice. First time live stream watcher. Love the coverage on Mid Journey and Chat GPT. I'm so tired of the cheesy Photoshops from Chinese competitors. Man, me too. Um, so when you go to something like Alibaba and you type in, you know, tempered glass, oh, pineapple cutter, that's always the one thing that everyone and their mom does. It's pineapple core, but they put pineapple cutter. So what is that? So you're going to see this kind of Photoshop stuff where I call it China Direct Images, where it's this and this kind of thing. It's so cheesy. It's so obviously, it's very, I call it the Alibaba-esque. If you watch, if you watch my, my channel, my show here, um, Weasel then says, also appreciate how you keep emphasizing to market the value of your product provides. This is key. It is because you can say a million times over, we are the best, um, no voice. You can't hear me? Everyone hears me. Yes. So um, talking about that is uh, important because you could say we have the most rugged case. We have the lip protection on the case, we have the kickstand. But if you're not giving the value it's providing, why this is important to have, it's not gonna help, right? You're just telling people features, not benefits. It's always gonna be benefits over features. Benefits over features. Brian, you're welcome. Cody says, yes, what you're doing is helpful. I'm not good at graphic design, so any tip that can be done through Canva is a big help. I know, Canva is a lifesaver for a lot of people out there, even myself. Um, so. This little trick alone to do a mask 
where you can put, it, it appears that it's behind the image, right? Just to be able to give you, and you could even do like, if I wanted to add like tripping glue, like tripping, maybe not. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but you can do like, like something like this, right? Where I just need this. I don't need anything else. Just this. Boop. Boop. Right? I can then go here, take the background out. It's probably going to keep the yellow in there. I don't know. But you can take the background out. And for example, if you get the, the good enough image, it's probably not going to be the right one. Oh, actually, I kept it. Um, you do something like this. Right? So now we're talking a little bit more of the, the drip that's there. Um, I don't know if I really do it, really sell this to home like that, uh, push this too hard, but you can send it. A little trick is to use layers in Canva. So you see here, let me zoom in. So you see here that um, it doesn't look natural because it's in front of the brush. So if you go to position backwards, now it's behind the brush and it looks a little bit more natural. So all about layers. So now if I do something like that, now that's telling me a little bit more, that it's trippy, that it's... Does that make sense? Oh, but that makes sense. That's a good one. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that as an example. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that for the people. What do we got going here? Uh, Christelle says, A plus content suggestions, please. Surely your wish is my command. B08S. 7D, 6 HM cube. Is it lunchtime? Oh man, it's way lunchtime. Smith's Mason jars. Okay, so this is like sangria. Mm -mm. So A plus content. Let's take a look. Okay, so brand story module. I know you asked for the A plus, but the brand story module is not showcasing exactly the value. We're just putting a large image here for the logo. Um, you want to put text in here for, yeah, it's a British owned and based company, but you need to talk some more text about why it's a value. Um, is this a UK listing? So you want to be careful because it's leader is done in the UK way. I don't know if that's um, copied and pasted from the a UK listing, but just make sure it's um, done specifically for the US customers. Also, when you're doing something in a US listing, um, don't do millimeters, try to do inches, uh, just because most Americans don't know millimeters in the metric system. So if you're breaking it into inches, it makes more sense to us common folk. Um, also, this is in French. So um, you don't wanna put it in French on a .com page. So that's one big thing you want to get removed right away because this means nothing to me when I speak English. Um, this should all be in the brand story module. So you want to showcase in your A-plus content people using it. Um, so talk about people at parties. You gave references of sangria. Um, is this oil? Is it olive oil? I think you use this for olive oil too. So lemonade, tea dispenser, but you're showcasing this looks like garlic infused olive oil, which is okay um, if you're talking about it, but you're not, which makes it look like some different kind of drink. So you talk about olive oils, infused olive oils, um, drinks. Don't talk about just sangria um, because you're gonna, you put, yeah, be careful when you put sangria um, because you're gonna make it sound very alcoholic and you wanna make it more universal. So talking about lemonade, juice, parties, picture pictures that kind of stuff uh, but you want to show people at a barbecue so um these types of pictures but larger show kids with like a lemonade stand all that kind of stuff but yeah right now you're not showing it um showing it in lifestyle but the biggest things you'd want to do is focus on the millimeters to inches and then get rid of the french because uh no one's gonna know what it means please you can hear me good Patrick says, hey, thanks for your knowledge. Please, the ice cream man is parked outside. Anybody want some ice cream? Please explain what exactly closed means on A to Z claims. Is there a chance the customer anyway gets refunded, but without ODR affected? 
I would need to see exactly what you're talking about. So closed on an A to Z claim can mean a lot of different things. Um, is there a chance the customer anyway get a refund? It depends. So it's not really something I can kind of give you off on a whim. But if you want to email me, I'm happy to help you look into that a little bit further. Christopher says, what are your thoughts on treating A plus content as a way to showcase the entire brand and product lineup instead of just one product? Yeah. So you're talking about um, making a brand specific A plus content versus a product specific. So brand story module is what's going to be able to do that. But if you want to get away with a lot of rinse and repeat by putting everything in there, you can definitely do that as well. I'm trying to think if I know an example of someone that does that. Usually it's going to be betting. Um, betting women's take a look. A lot of betting companies do that it's just because they have a lot of ASINs and stuff. So you're going to come down here and you're going to see um, they have premium A plus content. So they're talking, they're, they're not talking about the product specifically. They're talking about like multiple different products and sizes. And I don't know why they have an Xbox controller um, for sleeping stuff um but yeah you can that this is very brand specific so talking about high level features of the brands and the and the lineup so you can definitely get away with that i would say it depends on your asins and depends on your overall lineup if that's going to be worth it for you because remember every listing that you have with organic seo and stuff like that um is going to help you rank and if you have something that's more generic um you're only able to rank for so much Patrick says, and do you know a time frame when seller can appeal those claims? Yeah, A to Z stuff, it's very subjective. Um, so I need to see exactly what we're talking about. Crystal says, thank you so much. You are welcome. Yeah, guys, so we'll pick one more to deep dive and go into and uh, see where we go from there. Let's say that we're doing, let's go back into supplements. Let's take a look at... Glucose, how about that? Glucose supplements, my fellow diabetics out there. So blood sugar blend. So they have the product. So they have ones holding it. So that's a good one. We're not gonna use that as an example. So let's say this one, this looks very plain. So they're having some, right? Let's find someone that doesn't have any, help them out. Glue control, it's a cool name. Oh, here we go. So they don't have any lifestyle images. So none whatsoever. Oh, they have this one, but mm, I'm not gonna pigeonhole or stereotype my fellow diabetics, but uh, when I think of glucose control and a di diabetic for the most part, I don't think of uh, a young girl in a bikini drink of water, just saying. Um, so let's go here, let's go to mid journey and we're gonna say, uh, imagine a realistic, no, a hyper photo, hyper realistic photo of a man of a slightly overweight man in his 60s in exercise apparel walking down the street of his neighborhood how loud is my keyboard guys i wanted to make a comment on that oh just a little loud <clears throat> while we're waiting for that to generate uh crystal says what are the consequences of making duplicate asin duplicate listings for pvc and organic ranking um for PPC and organic rank duplicate list. Don't make duplicate listings if it's the same product. I just asked someone about that today and uh, yeah, not best practice. So this guy, uh, I said slightly over it. It's like a big guy. Um, yeah, you can see that with AI, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work. So let's um, let's go to chat GPT for this, right? Let's go to chat GPT and we're gonna say, I already have it primed up for my uh, mid-journey prompts. So I'm going to say, make me a mid-journey prompt. Actually, no, I don't have to say that because it already knows uh, from the previous ones. So I'm going to say, a diabetic man 
exercising in his neighborhood, happy and walking and living his best life, must be hyper realistic, realistic photo to appear real, not AI generated. Me the prompts. Let's go back and see what I came up with. <laughs> this is, good. This is uh, the one, two, three. Three looks uh, happy and then he just woke up. Um, this one looks pretty good. This guy down here, right? So you have to know your customer avatar. So four looks pretty good. Let's get a couple different versions of four. Uh, in his 60s, slight uh, of, uh, of a fit man in his 60s this thing smiling with friends Let's do this. go back to see what they captured so capture a vibrant image of a middle-aged man who also appears to be his body, enjoying a brisk walk he should be comfortably dressed he's wearing a broad, broad smile holding a glucose meter subtly hinting at his diabetes management the neighborhood setting should be a warm welcome uh Okay, so let's let's use this one. This this looks to be good. And this guys, this is a great way to get prompts. The AI is helping the AI. This is this, mwah, masterpiece. So I didn't. I said a fit man. Oh no, wait. Is that the one? A fit man. <laughs> okay, so let, 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 let let's put the prompt in from ChatGPT. A hyper realistic photo. But anyway, the point is that let's upscale four because I like four. The point is having this in here is going to be able, like something like this. This guy's great. This guy looks like everyone's dad from Chicago. It's a great guy. So him living his best life, walking down the street, taking care of his glucose and his blood sugar levels, smiling. He's happy. This is a great picture. So... If I was making this, and uh, let's go ahead and duplicate, I'll add another page. If I was making an index image for this, not an index image, but just a, something in the photo stack, you know, this guy's happy. He's living his best life. Let him be, right? So you could you pull it down like this, and you could put the words up here: happy, healthy, glucose, all this kind of stuff. But knowing your customer avatar. He's looking at the camera. He's smiling. He's happy. I lost 100 pounds. I know what it's like to, to feel heavy. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely a good photo. But know your customer avatar. Let's go back here. Here we go. So you see that ChatGPT gave much better version of the lifestyle. So you see this guy walking down the street. Uh, I don't see any blood glucose things in anyone's hands. This guy looks good. Um, so this guy looks like Professor X. This guy looks a little bit upset. Um, so let's take this one. So let's take uh, upscale number three. And let's do a couple of versions of three. Um, super hyper. <laughs> this makes sense. This makes sense. So this is a good one. So now you could even zoom this out. Right, this is a good photo. His eyes look a little wonky, but we gotta make sure that, let's take a look. His eye looks a little wonky there. But, you know, could we even do something like this where we chop off his head and we're just showcasing someone walking, right? So if we're talking about lifestyle shots, this says a lot. This says, even if we don't show this guy's face, because or even we just show his like beard like this, this is going to show very clearly the dynamic of someone older out there, healthy, living their best life, glucose, yada, yada, all this kind of stuff. Um, so let's go down here. So it zoomed it out. It gave me some different versions, some photos, guys walking, different face, and I like them. But, uh, and then this zoomed it out here. So we're able to zoom out. So guys, I, listen. If anything you took away from today, it's how to make your listings better. 
there's no reason why you should not have lifestyle photos in your in your um, product detail pages. People always say, oh, I don't have the, the graphics. I don't have the photography done. Nope. There's no longer an excuse when you have AI out there. So this one's zoomed out. So you see it's zoomed out and added the neighborhood and stuff like that. So let's say I want to upscale number one. And then it's going to give me number one. And then let's say I'm in Canva and I don't want that to pulled in and say I want to do this. Even though his eye looks a little wonky, we can go ahead here, crop it out like this. And we can very easily put text down here to talk about all this kind of good stuff in the listing. So features, benefits, um, we can talk about banner, uh, something like, graphics about this, that, the third, lots of ways to make secondary, tertiary images, Cyber, my guy, yo, John, how are you doing? Is it too late for an ASIN review? I'm about to wrap it up, but it's never too late for you. Throw, throw me that ASIN, my guy. Throw that ASIN in the in the chat, and we will get rocking and rolling for you. That'll probably be the last one before we call it a day, because it's time for lunch. And I think in Chick-fil-A, comment, comment below if you're getting Chick-fil-A with a chicken emoji. If you're getting chicken filet, like chick chicken filet. You're getting Chick-fil-A like me for lunch. Put a chicken emoji in the box. And if you have Android, I don't know what a chicken emoji looks like, but I know on iOS and Apple, the chicken emoji is either the egg, the chicken itself, or the drumstick of a chicken. All of those would be appreciated. But yeah, Cyber, let me know your ASIN, and I'll be happy to review it. I'll be the last one for the day. And then we'll get rocking and rolling. Got to get calls. Got to get busy. Okay, get ready for, I don't know, a million other things. Waiting for Cyber to pull it up. But yeah, whoa, almost lost my light. But yeah, guys, mid-journey, def definitely one of the, the biggest hacks. And by the way, while we're waiting for Cyber to pull up the, the ASIN for us to review, guys, if you are not following me on LinkedIn, I highly recommend you go follow me on LinkedIn. I'm putting out lots of content daily. I even put a video of me doing what we did today uh, through Mid Journey and the hacks. I wrote an article the other day talking about conventional merchandising on Amazon, how to break that mold. So yeah, go find me on LinkedIn. Follow me, follow me, follow me. And if you do follow me, give me a shout uh, on a post, and I'll be happy to review some more ASINs even offline for you. I'll get my team to go ahead and take care of that as well. A lot of cool stuff. Lane says, hey, Johnny, you noticing a slowdown in sales before Prime Day? A lot of reporting slow sales. Yep, absolutely. Everyone's curbing their purchases because they don't know what's going to go on sale uh, when we're talking about customers. Um, so a lot of people don't want to buy if something's going to go on sale. Uh, okay, it's Australia. This might be a this. It's this. Might be a, might be a this. Hold on. Let's take a look. So we got B. OC? No, I think it's B0C. 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 Uh, 313. HYGS. No. But I think it's B0. Yeah. So hold on. B0C. Three. It's not coming up for me. Is it Amazon? I never know if it's dot a oh it's dot com dot au. What's going on? It's not showing up, my man. Not showing up for me, Cyber. I don't know what's going on. But um, feel free to email me or contact me outside of that. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely be able to get that uh, reviewed for you. But we're going to call it a day, everybody. 
We're going to call it a wraparoni on today. Remember, we are My Amazon Guy. Oh, don't forget to go to uh, myamazonguy.com and check out Mag AI. You go here and you say, um, when is the best time to launch a product on Amazon? You could ask any question. It's chat GPT, but for Amazon, to give you exact answers. According to the transcript, Sunday and Monday evenings are best, but guess what? It's going to give you a link to a YouTube video at the exact moment where Stevens talked about it. So go right to our website. I encourage you to test this all out um, and see. Uh, I opened it up in new windows, but it shows up. I'm sure to email you, John. Love you. Love you, pal. Yeah, go ahead and email me. Uh, we'll, we'll get you taken care of. Don't worry about it. So we have tons of coaches. Jason's up there. Tess is up there. Hannah's up there. Book a coaching call right here. Ryan is Ryan on fire with the buttons over there. Guys, remember we have our SOPs. Our SOPs are still available. Um, so if you want the power, I think there's over 400. Yeah, 450 plus SOPs. So if you want the power in your hands, if you're not ready for full service or you have your own internal team and you want full service um capabilities in your team's hands by the SOPs. We have actually right now, I think it's 2,500 bucks lifetime access. So that means that every time they get updated, you don't have to pay any more. It's, 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 it's there. Um, let me know, put a comment below if you guys want me to give away a freebie SOP. I said it, a freebie SOP. I need, let's say I need 10 people to comment an emoji of, I don't know, a book, a book. If you comment a book emoji on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you're watching right now, if we get 10 people to comment with an emoji, I'm going to tell Steven next time the show is around, we're going to give away a free SOP. No cost, zero dollars. Uh, one out of the 450 plus SOPs I will get. Uh, I can't tell you which one, but I'm going to get one to give away for free. This way I get a little bit of taste of the of the goods. Um, but yeah, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Easy Star Trek says great stuff. Uh, thanks. Going to use Canva and Journey now. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, listen, I'm, I'm going to hop right now. But remember, I got to get 10 book emojis. I don't care which book on the platforms so this way i can tell steven people are interested and we'll get rocking and rolling all right guys listen i will see you next week be sure to tune in next wednesday maybe i'll have a special guest maybe not i don't know we're gonna see just yet uh tune in friday we have jason with the ama ask me anything uh on fridays with jason maybe i'm on there maybe i'm not i don't Oh, we'll see. We'll see what I'm doing. Tuesdays, Tuesdays at noon, we have a PPC AMA with our very own account director, Marissa. Uh, and she'll be bringing on some guests as well. So pretty much almost every day of the week, you have some content here. Some edutainment is the new word. It's education, entertainment, edutainment. Anyway, guys, that's it. Chick-fil-A time. Love you all. I will see you next week. Bye.